A couple of years ago, panahon to ng pandemic, uh, na-cover na nako ang SRP tunnel. In fact, on foot, ha, I was able to cross uh, that one kilometer, one kilometer tunnel. On foot, around 5, uh, 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning. How did I do it? There are times nga gina-close na ang tunnel because of the ongoing construction of the Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway. Ako na, I, I run, I jog that one kilometer tunnel. Dolisod kay there is a very thin air, but at least for curiosity ba and challenge myself, uh, ako na gidagando. It cost uh, annoyance, kasuko sa ako family because they don't they advise me not to do it again. Also, there was a video that I have captured. In fact, ako ni siya gisubmit. Ah, there I posted a video. I've posted a content about uh, my experience, no, in traversing that exploring that Cordoba Link, ano, uh, SRP, SRP tunnel. Before nag viral ning video karon sa Jessica So, di ba? May bag-o nga video about kato mga mystery ko nung who appeared there sa tunnel. Two years ago, na ay na-capture ang ako video and it was a, a viewer, a, a friend of mine, si Eduardo, who messaged me, Mamita, tanawa balik ang imong video kay naa kay na-capture images dito nga very strange and listen very well ang audio ni mo imukusgon kay naa kay sound nga na-capture. Actually, wala ko kay Baluana because I'm more focused on my running. Murag naagian lang siya ng camera. And also the, the, the sound. Kung wala pa kang Eduardo, I, I, I would not be aware of it. I will repost tong video na to of the image that, that was captured by camera, by my camera niya. Judge for yourself. I will repost also that video. The, I hope makagamit mo earphone, ano na, kanang sa sound dito sa inyong ears so that madungog ninyo kung unsa to nga very strange sound also. No, what I'm, why, why I'm doing this? Because two years ago, gisubmit na na nako kang Jessica Soho two years ago that I didn't get response. Well, would I want this nga ma-viral? No, I am not interested. Ang ako lang giingon, I had that experience. I can't even say a strange experience kaya I was not aware of it. Only there was a, a friend who called my attention nga tanawa ang imong video na akay na capture na image dito plus the sound paminawa pag ayo now i will be reposting it kay na man goy video katong kan Jessica so na sila nakita ako i will just I, I just want to share what my camera have captured no nang ako mismo naggadagan wala ko nagsakay ha nagdagan on foot there's a one kilometer SRP tunnel. Okay? Ako na i repost, then you judge for yourself. Okay? Kamu na mag judge, tan awa ni atong video. Thank you, thank you very much. The South Road Property Tunnel, a one of a kind tunnel, kasi nga, it is two ways and four lanes. In the right side is the tunnel coming from the south or the S S S S SM. A seaside or coming from the south going to Cebu City the length of the tunnel is one kilometer and the construction started in 2006 at natapos ito noong 2010 this is two lanes and this is this part of the tunnel is going, coming from the south, going to Cebu City. It has a length of one kilometer each. Bawal talagang pumasok dito, but now, kasi nga closed ang road, kasi may ginagawang installation of heavy materials sa Uh, ongoing const uh, construction of uh, Cordova Cebu Bridge. Kaya close to sa public, 
since last night 10 p.m. until tonight 10 p.m. This is and we will go to the other side Itong side naman na to is coming from Cebu City going to the southern part of Cebu Yeah Ah uh, trivia during the excavation in 2006 kasi nga it is underneath Plaza Independencia and Fort San Pedro. Na isa, itong tunnel na ito na sa ilalim ng Fort San Pedro at Plaza Independencia. So it's not a surprise anymore kung marami silang nakita na mga human skeletal remains, mga gold, yung mga canyons, mga yung mga military equipment na ginamit pa sa panahon ng Espanyol. Ito yung naging artifacts at uh, itinago nila sa museum, provincial museum of Cebu. Okay? If you are coming from, if you are coming from Cebu City, itong tunnel na to ang dadaanan mo going to southern part, namely SRP, Viaduct, and Talisay City. It is to decongest the traffic, kaya ipinatayo ang tunnel na to. It has a speed limit of 40 kilometers per hour. Okay? This is the part of the tunnel coming from Cebu City and going to southern part of Cebu. While This part of the tunnel is you come from the south and going to Cebu City. Ito, ito ang bukana ng tunnel if you are from the south. One. Okay? And as I said, kakaiba ang tunnel na to kasi nga it is two ways at saka four lanes and have a length of one south road property tunnel ayong araw na to itong tunnel na to ay the very first kind of tunnel connecting first kind in the Philippines kasi it, it is four lanes tunnel at dito ako ngayon nakaposition that would connect the southern part of the province of Cebu to mainland Cebu City ito itong direction na to going to from uh, from south of Cebu mainly Talisay and the neighboring municipality to mainland Cebu City. Tatlong taon na ginawa ang tunnel ito. This used to be a vast sea. Dagat po ito na reclaim at sa ibabaw nito ay ang South Road Property Viaduct at Plaza Independencia. It is one kilometer tunnel. Pupunta natin yung kabilang area, okay? This is one kilometer tunnel. Mainit na, uminit ng katawan ko. Kasi it's napakaano to eh. Mainit ang temperature dito. At ang labas nito 
walls na to ay dagat na. The last time I took videos of this, there was, according to some friends who have seen the videos on YouTube, may mga imahe daw silang nakita at may mga boses daw silang narinig. Well, it is no longer a surprise kasi when they constructed this tunnel, marami silang nakitang mga bones, mga buto ng mga tao. They also have seen maraming mga artifacts tracing back yung Spanish occupation. So, hindi na nakapagtataka kung may mga imahe silang nakikita, boses na nakikita, na naririnig, kasi nga, itong lugar na to ay maraming mga bu buhay na tao ang nabuwis dahil nga ito malapit lang dito ang Fort San Pedro Fort na itinayo noong 15th century at ginawang military fort may naitalang aksidente na rin dito recently nga last December at sa katong area na to is from mainland Cebu papunta na tong southern part of Cebu may sabi ko may naitala ng aksidente dito noong December isang motorist sa kanyang pagkakamali while it was raining he took a cover here at accidentally hindi napansin ng motorist a speeding motorist hindi napansin kaya ito'y nabangga ng speeding motorist yung nakikita nyo dyan it is going to southbound at ito naman going to northbound so going back to what I said dapat may speed li limit dito to avoid you know accident dapat magkaroon ng speed limit okay I cannot I cannot go farther kasi ano mainit na sa katawan and I'm having a hard time breathing sana magkaroon ng speed limit ang lahat ng mga motorist na dumadaan dito kasi nga hopefully mga 60 kilometers per hour kasi we will try to avoid accident by putting a speed limit sa pagbiyahe dito ah, hirapan ako huminga sirado ito ngayon dahil sa may ginagawang ini-install ng mga heavy equipments or materials sa Cebu, Cordoba Lane Expressway yung tinatawag natin the third cable style bridge Ingat tayo pag dumaan tayo dito. And yun talagang we should observe the speed limit para maiwasan natin ang mga aksidente. This is a very exclusive video kasi bawal po ang pumasok dito. Naging curious lang ako dahil nga may nagsabi sa akin na may mga messages, ano, images silang nakita dito while I took the video. Accidentally, may na-capture daw na images 
at saka may mga sounds okay I will wind up this vlog by saying sana nga magkaroon ng speed limit ang dumaan dito sa tunnel para maiwasan natin ang mga aksidente dito sa SRP